Hey guys, this is Stu. Uh, just a further update on the uh, British AS90 self propelled howitzer build I'm doing for myself at the moment. Um, yeah, it's going really, really well. But before I do that, it's just something I want to say. Um, I've been having a few technical issues with Google. Um, I don't know what the problem is, but um, I've been trying to get on two Hangouts this week. Both have had the same result. I've actually managed to get through, but the pictures that are normally posted in case their cameras aren't working were just showing, and I was getting no sound. So basically they could possibly hear and see me, but for some reason I couldn't see or hear them on my side. So guys, um, oh yeah, that's Mike Cohen and Paul Bretland. Uh, Mike and Paul, I know I've been trying to get both of your hangouts now. I know Mike, you have one Friday night and I couldn't get on. And you, Paul, tonight, you have one on uh, Sunday night, this is. I'm recording it. Um, and I was having the same result with you as well, Paul. So, for some reason, I'm not able to get through. Um... I know other people have had problems as well, such as Paul Griffiths, because he was thinking of getting on your hangout tonight. He had the same problem. So, I don't know if it's the technical issue or where Google are being their usual awkward self and basically redone all the settings. So, it could be a case that now my phone is now not compatible to get through on the hangouts. And if that is the case, that's going to be a major pain in the butt. Because I was hoping to catch up with all you guys. So, uh, mm. uh, however, I've got a workmate of mine who's actually supposed to be giving me a tablet at some stage. So maybe I'll be able to get around it when I get that. Anyway, bear with me, guys. That's all I can say. Anyway, let's get back to the update. Uh, as I said, uh, I've got a bit more progress done on the Howie tonight. Um, I was actually doing this while I was watching the recording of the Hangout, because I know it was only on for about 56 minutes. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe they had a technical issue, because suddenly they got cut off. So, uh, mm. Google, don't know what you're doing, but stop mucking them about, please. Okay, anyway, um, that's detracting from what I'm making this video about. So, here she is. This is how she's progressing. Uh, actually, I've assembled the upper hull to the lower. Uh, I've got the running gear on. Uh, but the main running wheels are not glued on. Uh, they're just in with the plugs. But the unfortunate thing is, um, the actual idler wheel and the sprocket at the front of the, the uh, vehicle here, I've had to glue on because basically uh, with the skirts on, it would have been very awkward for me to get them on and off. So that's what I've had to do, guys. Um, as I say, I buttoned that all up. Um, I've had a few, I've got a few issues. Um, <clears throat> this right mudguard was a bit of a so and so, and as you can see, it's at a slight angle, and there's not a lot I can do about that, guys. Um, it's because it wasn't fitting properly. Um, so that's the only sort of issue I've come up against, and also on the hatch. Uh, believe it or not, on the inside of the back hatch, they're indicating extra detail which should go in the interior. So obviously this had the option of being open. The only problem is you've got no internal detail. So not much point really, guys. So I, I didn't bother with that process, which you see on here. I've left that all off. I haven't bothered. Because to be honest with you, I was going to button her all up anyway. Um... But if I had, I had that option of keeping the back hatch open, I'm sure there's a company like Verlinden or somebody that does an interior detail set. Um, I'll have to sort of do a little bit of research on that in case I do the desert version, because I know there is a kit of the desert version of this, which was used out in the uh, Second Gulf War. So uh, if I do get that, I'll have to do some research on that. Uh, but as I say, this is how she is at the moment, guys. Um, other than that, there's not many fit issues. It is a lovely kit, as I said in my previous update. Um, detail on it is really, really fairly good, actually, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, so far, so good, guys. 
Um, anyway, the next update um, probably won't be for about a week or two because I've just got to get the rest of the tools put on and then obviously assemble the turret. And I'm going to see if I can get hold of an aftermarket barrel. So you could be looking at about two to three weeks before you get the next update on this one. Um, and then hopefully in between then, I'll be able to get the paints in for my get out of your comfort zone group build on the McLaren MP44. And get a little bit more work done on her. But sometimes, as we all know, life dictates. So we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Um, this is how she's looking right now. As I say, it's a superb little kit. And as I said before in my last update, if you want to get hold of one, by all means do so. All right. That's it for now, guys. So until then, get kit crazy, happy modeling, and I'll see you on a future update.